Let x1, x2, x3, and x4 be a random sample, and that's the same as saying that they are mutually independent and identically distributed random variables from an exponential lambda population. Find the joint probability density function of those first four order statistics. Well, to start out, the population probability density function in this particular case, you can go back to chapter 5 and look it up. It will be f of x is equal to lambda e to the minus lambda x, and that is for x values which are greater than 0. Now, using the result on the previous page, the joint probability density function of the first four order statistics, which will be written in this fashion. And again, the indexes here will be x1, x2, x3, and x4. And in this particular case, because n is equal to 4, we start out with a 4 factorial and that gets multiplied by lambda e to the minus lambda x1 times lambda e to the minus lambda x2 and then the last term will be lambda e to the minus lambda x4 and you can simplify a little bit here the 4 factorial of course is 24 Lambda is multiplied by itself four times, so we get lambda to the fourth power. And then like base add exponents means we can write this as e to the minus lambda times x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4. And that joint probability density function is defined on the support 0 is less than x1, is less than x2, is less than x3, is less than x4. Notice that the support x greater than 0 defines our lower bound here of being 0 and the upper pound is essentially infinity, so that's the A and the B values from the previous theorem.